These days, a tech worker's cell phone is just as important as their laptop. After all, that's where a lot of action goes down. But unlike company computers, cell phones are extremely susceptible to being hacked, data theft, and even being lost on the bus. So now an Israeli company called Nubo has found a way to solve these problems. And I'm here with Tzvi Lahat, the company's VP of Business Development. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So let's talk a little bit about the platform that you've created. What, what is this platform? Okay, we came to the world to answer the problem of the bring your own device. People like to work from their own private device. The employer likes it very much because you continue to work when you are in vacation, when you are at home, and the productivity is going up. Right, right. But it creates the problem that you described right now uh, uh, phone are stolen, you leave the company with all the data, Yeah. data belong to the company and also the phone is a very easy way to penetrate the data center of the company. So we came to the world to answer this question and the answer is virtual mobile infrastructure. It means in simple words we uh, we are virtualizing the business part of the phone and we bring it to the data center. So what we do, we build a, a virtual mobile infrastructure, virtual mobile uh, operating system in mm -hmm. the data center of the company. The company can put its applications, its data on that platform. It's safe, it's within the company. Mm -hmm. It could be on cloud. Cloud is as safe as as data uh, on premises and what we did is we from the phone we just get access to the data with a special protocol that we developed so what you have here is a phone it is your private phone and when you enter the Nubo application you are entering is through a uh, protected right. protocol. So it's essentially not on your actual phone, but it's a program that you have to then sign into on your phone that allows you to access all this yes. data. So that's interesting. So what kinds of businesses could use this platform? Um, or could you know government agencies as well benefit from this? We were very lucky to, uh, to be adopted as a startup by the government of Israel to the biggest uh, program, a mobility program wow. of the Israeli Defense well, Forces. Well, I, I think the Israel needs this more than anybody else, right? Because there's a, you know, when yeah, it comes and to... and we, we already implemented the, the, this solution, and we are very well established in uh, Beza Company, uh, which is, you know, the main uh, telecom course. company. Of course. The main need is any company that care about its data and wants the people to work from the mobile phone, which is, all of us are doing that, well, I mean, nowadays you just can't avoid that. This is a this is how everybody functions, right? Yeah. And it's interesting because you know, it, today, for example, uh, I was trying to reach somebody on the phone, and they had left their phone at home, but they didn't have any other form of communication uh, to to reach me by. So you know, it makes you understand the importance of having that cell phone with you. There are no more landlines anymore, right? So um, now, now, what happens if an employee? or of a company that uses your product ends up losing that phone. It's going to be fine, right? Because... It is very simple because all the data is not resides on the right. phone. It's nothing is on system. the phone. When you are not using the application, there is nothing. And also when you use the application, there is nothing. We send from the data center just an image. You cannot see more than one picture. So we send it to wow. you. This is and that's what you deal. see. Now, now, here's my question for you. How, how did you come up with the idea for this? Was there a specific inspiration behind uh, the idea this for this This is more, not my idea. It's okay. the inventor, Israel Lifshitz. Okay. He's the inventor, the creator. He took about five years to develop the technology. Wow. I mean, I, so, there's certainly a need for, for this type of software in our lives. Um, and I'm interested to see kind of how it's going to affect the future of the way that we share information. So thank you so much for coming in, and congratulations so uh, on, the, on this big platform. Thank you.